Hello, hello, and welcome back to Super Pat World. Today we're going to talk about raids, people. Do you know what a raid is? A raid is when at the end of a stream, a streamer sends all of the viewers that are left to somebody else's stream. It could be a nice way to help that other streamer grow a bit, introduce them to your community. That's the idea. Sounds great on paper, right? What a beautiful thing. But guess what, people? It's not always a beautiful thing. Look around on social media. You see people whining about raids. They either love them, they hate them. This person did the right thing or didn't do the right thing. You don't have to look too hard to find streamer drama around raids. I've actually been a streamer for four years, and I've had uh, raids turned off for, I think, two years. Having a bunch of weird experiences myself where I just tapped out and said enough is enough. So I felt like I had something to share about this topic. So here I am. Number one on my list is viewing raids as transactional. What's, tra what's a transaction? I give you this and you give me that. If I go to a store, I buy a product, I give them money, they give me the product, that's a transaction. When you raid somebody, that's not a transaction. You, they don't owe you anything, nothing. You have chosen to give the gift of a raid. What a beautiful thing. And you know, it, to your benefit, now you've just blasted into the stream, gotten some attention from everybody that's there of, hey, this person raided, the thank you, all that. So it's not that you've gotten nothing out of the deal, but a lot of people, they give the raid, and then in their mind, okay, T-minus 72 hours till you need to raid me back, or else this, that, blah, blah, blah. And it's just very petty. It, it gets to be this very petty thing of, okay, well, you raided me twice last week, and I haven't gotten one raid since then. All. And it is... Here's what's even more crazy, people, the schedule. If, if, you always if you're always streaming after me, I can raid you, right? But if, <laughs> if I'm never streaming after you, you don't even have the chance to raid me back, right? One more reason why it would be crazy to think this is a transaction here. You're giving something without the expectation of getting some back. So that one little change, if we could all embrace this idea that raids are a gift, it's a gift, a gift you give to a buddy, a friend, or somebody you never met, a smaller streamer than you, all great options. It's a great gift to give. G-I-F-T, gift. Not a transaction. They don't owe you anything in return. But they certainly have the opportunity. To pay, maybe the stars align. They're having a great stream. It's a great moment. And then they can. They give you over the top all the love. Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. But you can't expect that every single time. There's so many valid reasons why a streamer might not be able to give you the ultimate extreme praise and, and hooray for the raid. Even if they genuinely appreciate it, people. And so this is what I'm trying to say. Stop viewing raids as transactional. It is not a transaction. The more you see it as a transaction, the more likely your attitude about it is going to be toxic and cause stream of drama. Number two on my list is unrealistic expectations. Some people look at raids as their ticket to superstardom. They think if they get those thousand viewers in there, their life will never be the same. Well, let me tell you something, people. Early on in my streaming career, I had a thousand viewers and it made no difference at all. I think I got maybe 60 followers out of the mix. And that was it. It, it had no long-term big effect. It was uh, very exciting at the time, and I was very thankful for it. But ultimately, what I'm trying to show you is getting that big raid is not going to make your channel explode. It's not going to be the difference to make you partner. It's not going to be the thing that leads you to success. It could definitely be a little help along the way, and that's what it's meant to be, just a little boost, a little chance, a small little benefit. But I'm telling you, thinking that all you got to do is hold out and keep raiding these bigger streamers, and then once they finally raid you back, then it all pays off. Again, we're getting back to point one. It's not transactional. It's not, you can't give this much and expect this much back. It's strictly, it's a one-way street. You have the opportunity as a streamer to raid somebody. It's a beautiful thing. Give that gift. And in return, don't be thinking that, oh my gosh, if I get this big raid, it's going to make all the difference. Because it's not, people. Not, not, and I'm not trying to say it never will make a huge difference. But 99% of the time, getting a huge raid will not result in huge long-term growth. That's the tough pill to swallow. It's very similar to the misconception that going viral. Now you made it. Guess what? You got a million views? Wow! You can be full-time now. No. I've gotten millions of views on so many videos, and ultimately, usually, you're, you're, you're lucky to, depending on what your ad situation is you're lucky to even make a couple hundred bucks out of the whole deal and that again that that one video who knows how long that took you or how long it took you to get the million views but either way it is not resulting in there you go your career is taken off now again not to say that can't happen there's that one percent chance on the internet that almost anything can result in a massive change but i'm telling you people Talk to streamers who have gone viral, and you'll see. A lot of them are like, wow, going viral on that post was one of the hardest parts of my career because it, it brought in so many trolls. So many people who didn't want to see my content were now getting fed my content, and I almost wish it never went viral in the first place. That's the ironic reality check with something going viral. It's similar. 
crossing your fingers, hoping and praying, please let me get that big raid. I'm telling you, people, it is not the Holy Grail. It will not be the thing that gets you to, to your reaching your goals in, in any sort of consistent way. It's just not. That's just the hot. It's just how it is, people. You can choose to believe it or not, but do your own research. Talk to your streamer friends. Anybody who's had a big video go viral or got a big raid, ask them just how much it meant to them one month later. And I'm not saying that there aren't any examples of it being a big deal. I'm saying 99% of the time it is not. And lastly, number three is streamer culture. And this is obviously going to be different platform to platform, group to group. But overall, I've witnessed and experienced way more gossip talking bad about other people within streaming communities than I ever would have expected. I would have thought, especially on its face, everybody seems to be like, oh yeah, all the streamers are cool with each other. But no, people, pe behind closed doors, people say wild stuff about other people. And what's really crazy, they'll say it to mutual friends, mutual viewers. Like, it is wild, all the gossiping and talking bad about... But you can imagine, there's a lot of jealousy. Where there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of like resentment because uh, here's a classic example for resentment i raid a streamer three times in one week right and i am just waiting with bated breath to get that raid back and it's not happening and so you know what i might do i might now message one of my streamer buddies who's also a fan of the raider the person that i keep raiding and say like i can't believe this guy he's such a jerk he won't even raid me back i've been raiding him three times this week and didn't even notice me this and that now you've started uh almost a rumor or you, you've now engaged in talking bad about this person that supposedly you look up to and like so much but behind closed doors you're trashing them and then but then of course you raid them the fourth time you show up it's all smiles hey want to raid you again you're the you're the greatest you're my favorite streamer and then three hours later when they still didn't get anything back they're they're messaging somebody else oh my gosh this guy he's too big for his britches he doesn't know about. and it's just it's nonsense people it's nonsense do not talk about other people behind their back. It never, ever results in something positive. Instead, if you, have, if you care, if you're, if you're hurt by something, something goes wrong or you have, it, let's say you, that situation plays out, you're rating someone three times, send them a message. And if you're, not, if, if you're not close enough to even get a message back, then I guess there's your reality check. You know what I mean, people? It's not a situation where you can just... Make the demand, and then it's, it's a done deal. What has your experience been with raids as a streamer? If you're a streamer and you've had good, bad, indifferent experiences, let me know in the comments. I'd be really curious to hear what your experience has been like. And if you're a viewer and you're like, oh, I never even really thought of how raids would cause drama or there's different issues that you might be interested in behind the scenes, I'm willing to share my experience. And again, this is just my experience. This in no way represents everyone's experience. This is just one random streamer's experience. So as much as I'm giving you these top three reasons. This is top three reasons from my very limited and narrow perspective. There is no specific name involved in any of this. This is just truly the way I've seen it and experienced it, and as someone who's had raids turned off for a long time myself. All right, well, thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you on stream sometime. Until then, have a great day, buddy. Bye!